Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to create a Arduino based oscilloscope using which you will be able to measure very basic waveforms that are generated by circuits which are low in frequency and amplitude. So obviously this is not gonna be comparable to any commercial oscilloscopes out there. But if you have a very basic requirement of very low frequency measurement, which is below 5 volts, then this is something that you can use and for spoilers, it kind of works great. So for the code that we'll be using to run our Arduino, we will be printing two things, the frequency and the sensor value that we read at our A0 analog read pin. And there's a bunch of code to calculate the frequency that we have. So for the sensor value, it's going to basically be the voltage fluctuation. So Y axis is going to be voltage and it reads the analog pin and prints it. This is not going to be the voltage. You can do a simple voltage calculation if you want. So this will convert it to voltage based on the sensor value. So you can actually use this variable to print. It's going to print the voltage or you can directly print the sensor value. The rest of the calculation is basically calculating the frequency for every measurement window that we have. So this is going to be one second. We calculate based on the threshold that we set. So this is 0 0.5 volts. Every time it crosses the threshold, that's going to be one cycle of the waveform. And it basically keeps incrementing the pulse every time one cycle completes. And based on that, it will calculate the frequency. And this frequency is updated every second. So that's going to be a measurement window. And it prints out the frequency. Now, based on the input voltage that you have, the threshold is going to be different. If you set the threshold more than the peak of the waveform, then it's not going to be able to measure the frequency. So for the circuit, I'm using two 9 volt batteries to generate positive and negative 9 voltages, which is connected to the op amp. And this op amp is connected to a filter circuit, which basically resonates at 12 Hertz to generate a 12 Hertz sine wave. This output is connected to a resistor and that is connected to a voltage divider. So basically that is to protect the Arduino. The output of the Arduino is connected to the A0 pin and the ground is connected to Arduino ground and basically it records the data and sends back to the serial plotter and serial monitor of Arduino IDE. Now after all the connections are done, turn on the serial monitor and turn on the serial plotter to get the values and the waveform displayed. In the serial monitor, the first value that you see is going to be the frequency and the second value is going to be the voltage changes. So Let's focus on the graph that we see. Now, the problem that I was talking about is if you see the zero volts for this waveform, it's basically cut off in between because the analog cannot trade negative voltages. So this is something you will have. So if your entire wave sits between zero volts to five volts, that's gonna be fine. If the wave goes into negative voltages, then Arduino is not going to be able to read it, but it's still like something we can use. The circuit that I had generated around 12 hertz, it goes to 13, like it's a bit jumping around between 12 and 13, but it's a 12 hertz wave and 13 and 12 is basically close. As you can see, like you can utilize this graph to get basic waveforms from what you are getting as the output of your circuit or anything that you will be using and if you go and click on the stop button you can stop the reading and you can actually see the values of your waves you can start stop this see the values maybe do some calculations now if i change the voltage divider potentiometer then you can see that the wave changes the graph changes based on how I turn the potentiometer. So it kind of resembles what a oscilloscope shows. That's pretty much it for the Arduino oscilloscope. So if this video helped you, subscribe to my channel. I'll be 
creating some more videos around this on circuits and stuff so if you are interested in do subscribe and let me know in the comments if you face any difficulties and thank you